Okay, everyone. Are you ready to learn in math today? Wow, that's great. Because today, I am going to introduce you another lesson. Are you ready? So, if you are ready, let us have our drill. So, we are going to do skip count by tens. Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now, let's do skip count using blocks. Are you ready? Okay, so let's do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job, children! So now you know how to skip count by tens. Now you know how to do skip counting. So let's proceed now to our lesson. Because today, we are going to rename sets into ones and tens. Are you excited? Wow, me too! I am also excited to teach you on how to rename ones and tens in a set of numbers. So let's start. Let me present to you these blocks. And let's find out what do these blocks represent. Let's have the first one. This set of blocks represents tens. And the other one represents ones. Okay? Once again, children, the first set represents tens. And the second one represents ones. Is that understood? Very good. So, us try this one. As you can see in the illustration, can you tell me how many tens are there? Very good. So, there are three tens. How about ones? How many ones are there? Good job. So, there are four once. So, meaning to say, we have 34 in the count. So, there are 34 blocks. Okay, so let us try these children. Let's have the first set. Okay, so are you ready to count? So, how many tens are there? Very good. There are two tens. How about ones? Very good, children. There are six ones. Therefore, we have 26 blocks. Very good. How about this set? How many tens are there? Wow! That's great! There are four tens. And how about the ones? How many do we have? Very good! There are five ones. Therefore, we have 45 in total. Very good, children! Let's the next example. Let's check how many tens. Very good. There are six tens and two ones. So we have 62 blocks. Okay, so do you understand, children? Very good. You can represent ones and tens with the use of blocks. Okay, now let us find ones and tens in a set of numbers. Are you ready? 
Okay, this time we are not going to use blocks. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so we have here 85. Okay, so let's find out what does number 8 represent and same with number 5. Okay, so 5 children represents ones and 8 represents tens. Can you do it now? Okay, let us try. Okay, so we have the 85. Meaning to say, we have 8 tenths and 5 ones. Let's proceed. So let's have this number 12. Which is tens and which is ones. So how many tens are there and how many ones are there? Very good. There's only one tens and two ones. That's why we have 12. Next, the number 19. Let's see what's the answer. So we have 9 tens and 0 ones. That's why we have 90. Next, 27. So we have 2 as your tens and 7 as your ones. Therefore, we have 2 tens and 7 ones. That's why we have 27. Next, how about if it's like this? It's written as 3 tens and 9 ones. So what's the number? Very good. The number is 39. So you just have to combine the numbers together. Next, we have 7 tens and 3 ones. Can you tell me the answer? Very good. The answer is 73. Now, let's have this last set. So we have 5 tens and 5 ones. What do you think is the number? Very good. It's 55. Good job, children! Do you understand it now? So that's how we name sets of numbers in tens and ones. So I hope you learned something today. So thank you and bye!